Tuesday was National Voter Registration Day. To vote in Hayes County, you must be a registered 18-year-old U.S. citizen who lives in the county. Those registered will be able to vote in the 2016 presidential election, as well as serve several state and local elections. The last day to register is October 11th. Election day is November 8th, but early voting will start on October 24th and continue through November 4th. Many Texas State students have ordered their class rings. They had an opportunity to make their choice at a three-day event last week at the University Bookstore. The event, called Ring Days, had eligible students meet with representatives to select and order their official class rings. Students tried on different styles and sizes, and if they ordered a ring, they were invited to participate in a ceremony at the end of the semester. Ring orders are still being taken online. Filling out your FAFSA form doesn't have to be a horror show. Financial aid advisors are helping Texas State students complete their FAFSA applications for the coming year. Students can meet with an advisor for a one-on-one -on -one session on Tuesdays or Thursdays this month. Students are asked to bring their income and tax information. Current sessions are being held in the UAC. For more information or to register, visit the Texas State Financial Aid and Scholarship website. KTSW and the University Star hosted a debate involving the candidates for mayor last night. Students and faculty attended the event at the LBJ Student Center to see where candidates stood on important issues such as river preservation, education, taxes, and bridging the gap between San Marcos residents and the Texas State University. Early voting will continue November 4th. Election day is November 8th. San Marcos will elect a new mayor and several city council members. The Texas State Red Cross Club is having a clothing drive this week on the quad that will benefit homeless in San Marcos. Students are being asked to donate any gently used clothing they don't want. The goal is to fill 14 boxes in reference to the 14,000 people in San Marcos who live below the poverty line. The clothes will be donated to the Southside Community Center where vouchers will be handed out. These vouchers will allow three outfits to be picked out at no cost. All clothes are being accepted, but there is a focus on sweatshirts and pants for winter. College advisors are now helping students with spring 2017 registration. If you still need to be advised, make sure you schedule an appointment with your advisor or check with your department to see if they allow walk-ins. Registration will continue through December 21st. Students can register online through CATS Web. Just log in through the Texas State Self-Service link to register and or to find out your specific access period. Texas State is one of the 21 universities this year to receive U.S. Department of Education funding. The $5.8 million will promote STEM, which is short for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. The grant will be distributed incrementally over a five-year period to help students succeed in the STEM-related disciplines. I think it'll help our program quite a bit by, by being able to implement new things and with the growth of the, with the, growth of the programs being able to um, uh, uh, make room for new people. The grant will specifically target Hispanics and low-income students who are seeking degrees. Some students have ideas on how the STEM program could be improved. Honestly, more resources, um, like especially I'm in a botany lab right now, and so it would be cool to actually have like more of the plants that are more rare, um, to actually be able to dissect those and be able to actually look at them intently and be able to classify them and all that stuff. For Bobcat Update, I'm Shelby Powell.